first interview of the day is Shai Berger, who's the uh, CEO of uh, Funnel Home. And uh, how are you, Shai? I'm great. Thanks for having me. Nice to see you. Thanks for being uh, a guest here uh, on this uh, video interview. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your product and, and what it does? Okay. Uh, Funnel Home targets uh, a set of consumer uh, pain that occurs when you try to call large companies. And when I talk about large companies, I mean these companies that we all have to call credit card companies, banks, airlines, hotels. Uh, these are calls that we all have to do from time to time, and they've got a unique set of frustrations. And we wanted to find a way to fix them. Uh, so we have a service called Deep Dialing that lets you skip the phone menu, so you don't have to dial in and listen to the long prompts. Press one for this, two for that. Uh, we've got another service called Hold For Me that uh, allows you to avoid waiting on hold. Uh, just request an agent and can call you back when an agent is ready. Uh, and finally, we have a service called Intelligent Call History that organizes all the calls that you make with a given company that you can review online and see a history of all those calls along with recordings uh, and any notes that you've made. So all three of them really revolve around this theme of empowering you as a consumer to deal with large companies in, in a less frustrating manner. Now the way that uh, this would work would be via a web page, email, links, things like that? Well you can use it online or through a mobile device. And right now we are in a private beta so you can go to phonelo.com and apply for a password and use it through our site. Uh, and we have some mobile applications coming out soon. Uh, you can use it right now through mobile web if you've got a sufficiently advanced handset. But we'll have native apps coming out soon. Uh, so just to walk you through the process, if you went to phonelo.com today you would Look for the company you want to reach, say Air Canada, that's one I use all the time because I fly back and forth from Toronto. And you'll see on our site a full transcript of their phone menu in tree form. So we've transcribed all of that, all of that text. And you can just scroll through it quickly, find the spot you need. Say you want to report lost luggage or change your reservation or make a complaint. And you just click on that spot in the tree. And then uh, your phone rings a short while later and when you answer it, you're connected directly to that spot in the tree. So you don't have to listen to the prompts, you don't have to go through the navigation. Uh, it's a one-click process. Uh, and then you can bookmark those spots. Because most of us call the same handful of companies over and over again. Uh, and then the next time you need to reach that company uh, in, in a particular part of their menu, it's one click away. Uh, and it's all synchronized so that if you bookmark spots uh, on the site, uh, you can access those bookmarks through your mobile application as well. So uh, it all sort of uh, integrates together and, and really supercharges your ability to deal with these large companies. Do you see a time when you're going to be able to integrate things like uh, account numbers and passwords and things like that? So if I'm curious about what, what the amount is in my bank account, I can just click a button and you will have, say you have, let's say you've uh, password protected that information and you send it to the to the uh, let's say bank and, and then I just pick up the phone and I hear your account balance is will that happen? Do you think? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know we have to be really careful about some privacy issues there and some uh, security matters. Uh, the first uh, the first parts of that transaction that we would automate would be the more innocent parts where say you've got to enter in your phone number to get past the initial uh, initial questions. Phone numbers are not such sensitive information. Uh, when you get to the part where we're entering in credit card numbers, we have to be a little bit more careful, so that's going to be further down the road. But I mean, certainly there's a, a lot of room to automate and improve those transactions that we have over the phone. Oh, certainly. I, I think one of the areas uh, which you'll probably tackle at some point is the, the, uh, the, the uh, uh, I guess the best way of explaining it is when you're calling a uh, credit card company or a bank and you're speaking to live agents and they ask you for your account number right. and your address right. multiple times and right. you just get frustrated because you want to get off the phone right. and just pressing a button and having the computer read back your account number and address so you don't have to deal with it. Or, or remembering it. You know, when you call in and you've got to change right. reservation and you made it through the rewards points system right. and now they need your 17 digit reward ID number, I don't have that on me. You know, and now I've got to go fumble for it and they won't. So there's a, I mean, there's so many points of frustration in You're this right. process today. And whenever I talk about this, I get uh, such a great response from consumers. I mean, people just light up when I tell them that you can skip through phone menus. I mean, uh, it's just a, it's a modern day frustration that we all wrestle with. And I'm sure consumers are going to be thrilled with this. How are they uh, reacting so far? 
Well, really great response. We uh, are in private beta right now, so this really was just released a few months ago. Um, so, a uh, ton of interest from consumers, a lot of great uh, response from the press. I mean, it's a story that just everyone gravitates to naturally. You know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's just a great story of consumer empowerment. Um, and uh, uh, we're going into public beta in, in the fall, so that uh, we'll expand the, the user base, and then this will be uh, fully launched in, in its first commercial release uh, by the end of the year. So I'm curious, what sorts of technology are you using on the back end? I mean, are they uh, just an IVR system which you're customizing, or did you buy boards and write the software yourself? I mean, what, what have you done? Well, the key asset here, the key challenge uh, to making this work is our ability to spider the phone names, because we don't have any kind of arrangements with the companies in our database. I didn't go to Air Canada and say, give me your phone name. I didn't go to United, and, and there's no arrangement there. So the, the, the main challenge here is how do we get all those menus? How do we spider phone space? So we built a, a system that dials up all these companies and, and tries to dig through the menus, extracts it out of the, 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 the audio data, turns it into text, tries to figure out the structure. Um, so a lot of exciting technology on that front. We really pushed the envelope with voice recognition. Um, and a big part of it is also that we have a, a team of editors that goes through this first pass that the automated system does and uh, touches up the text and makes some judgment calls and um, uh, smooths things out. So that's really the challenge here. That's what's hard. Well, I can imagine because on the web, spidering is basically follow for all practical purposes, just following links. You follow right. one link to another link to another link. But with the phone, if you hit the wrong button, you're going to be connected to a live agent, right. or you'll hear the famous thank you, goodbye, right. and then you've got to recall. So you're calling over, I mean, you could call probably a thousand times just to, to get through one IVR tree. Right. And that racks up the uh, charges and, and probably maybe will arise some suspicion in the, <laughs> in the uh, companies wondering why the same, the same phone number is calling over and over, which is kind of an interesting thing. Yeah, we try to be as efficient as possible when we, when we dial in for those obvious reasons, but I mean, you hit the nail on the head, this is very challenging.